OK, can you see my slides? Yes, sir. OK, thank you much. And if I write onto the board, is board clear? Is board clear? Yes, it is clear. Oh, writing is clear. Good. OK. So, Salam Alaikum and very good afternoon uh, to all of you. So last week we have uh, discussed few example or uh, many example on the beams for the force method. And we have discussed the example one of the frame, right? Uh, which is this, I will just recap, right? The example one. So in that uh, uh, it was asked, uh, to determine the support reaction A and B on the frame shown EI is constant. So which is four meter, five meter, and it is subjected to eight kilonewton per meter onto the beam, right? The applied forces onto the beam. So this is the actual frame, which is uh, uh, this, and we can take either uh, this support at B, right? So because they, there are four reaction, so we can take one of the reaction as redundant. So for example, uh, if we can put over here as uh, instead of pin, we have put the roller support. So horizontal reaction we consider as redundant, right? So as we have placed this uh, uh, roller support. So this can move left or right, right? Because uh, this column can move. And we are looking as this dash line is the deflected shape, right? So as uh, I have discussed with you, uh, even in theory of structure, that uh, we are talking about a small deformation, right? Whenever we are talking, it is not large deformation. So, and it is elastic deformation. So as load is applying vertically downward, so the beam will be deflected like that. When beam will be deflected like that, so the column uh, will can be moved to the right side, right? Because for compatibility, the angle before deformation and after deformation should be the same, right? Which is 90 degree. So if you will draw this angle and this column, because the column will remain a straight line, it will move because no horizontal. So this is a possible deflected shape of the beam, right? So this we will be by removing the horizontal reaction, so that will be primary beam or primary structure, right? So the main beam, uh, as we say, will be composed of two structure, right? The primary structure, which is this, plus redundant uh, force. So in redundant force, because uh, horizontal reaction will be there, right? We remove, so in the redundant frame, we applied only redundant force, right? Here we applied the actual force. And now uh, we have the two determinant frame, one primary frame with uh, eight uh, kilonewton or given force on the beam. And second is the redundant force BX, which is unknown, which is applying at point B. Since we remove horizontal reaction, so the direction of applied redundant force will be horizontal. And this is our assumed direction as uh, in the answer we got negative. So actual direction will be opposite to that, right? If answer is positive, so which means that our assumed direction of redundant force will be is correct, right? So the compatibility condition as 
uh, we are looking. So this force because a delta B, which it will move due to the, the uh, this beam is moving. So that will be F times, uh, right? This will be FBB, which is the flexibility if there will be unit force. So times BX, right? So that, so this plus this should be equal to zero, right? So that is the compatibility condition, right? Which, so uh, this compatibility condition, now we can uh, solve, right? So we can get uh, with this application, right? So we can get the moment equation, right? So as uh, 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 with this primary beam, so we can get the rea horizontal rea uh, vertical reaction, which is 12, 20 kilonewton, right? The other day as uh, same thing theory of structure, because you can take, uh, let's say a moment about A and with that VB, which is 20 kilonewton. So VB into uh, five is equal to uh, eight into five into two point. It is five or four, five, yeah, correct. So we have calculated 20 and 20. And uh, then we can write down this moment equation for the uh, beam and column. But uh, at column, there is no horizontal applied load. So the applied moment anywhere in column will be zero. And this is the 220 into X1 and uh, minus it into X1 into X1 upon two. So that is the moment equation for the primary beam. And this is the moment equation again in the same manner. We have calculated horizontal and vertical reaction. And uh, these are the reactions due to applied load one. Right? So we have this equation, right? Uh, zero to L, M into M, right? With unit load and with actual beam upon EI, right? This this the same method which we learn in theory of structure. So M, the first case in this uh, capital Delta B, so which is uh, uh, this equation, uh, then for column because two member, right? So this is for column and by simplifying, so Delta B is equal to one one six one six six point seven upon EI, right? When you will integrate and that. And same thing when we do this, so we can apply because the same thing M and M uh, because it is for uh, redundant frame. So FB, we will up, we can find out the flexibility coefficient, which is 48 upon EI. And for compatibility condition, so we have written, so everything is known. So only BX is unknown. So we have calculated BX as 3.47 kilonewton and minus sign as is indicating the assumed direction is opposite to that, right? So that will, that is the frame. And uh, of, so that, that we have corrected, which is 3.47, right? Then we can calculate other reaction component, right? AX, AY, and uh, BY, right? Because three unknown, three equations, so we can easily calculate, right? And uh, so uh, because now this is known, so we have calculated using summation of fx is equal to zero. So we have calculated already ax, right? Horizontal because it is 3.47, so it is opposite, right? 40 is the total eight times 540, which is applying here. So summation of ma is equal to zero, or so we can calculate by, by into five, right? Because after 
uh, finding bx value. So we have find out by and then summation of my uh, fy is equal to zero. So we have calculated ay as 17.2 kilonewton. So uh, this is the uh, simple example that after uh, removing the redundant force because degree of uh, uh, indetermin indeterminacy was one, so there was only one redundant. And after calculating redundant BX, we have uh, we can calculate other reaction. And in the same way, once we got all the reaction, we can calculate the uh, bending moment and shear force at any point. Right, because all reactions are known, so the bending moment and shear force diagram can be written. Right. Uh, let's say uh, uh, just if it is not there again, I will can com uh, can complete this if bending moment. If uh, you can see if I can uh, break. Can you see clearly? Right? Yes. OK, so. Uh, AX is. 2.3.47. Uh, um. Ay is 17.2, right? And here, if I can say 3.47, so a free body diagram, so this, this will be 3.47, this is 3.47, right? In column and there was applied load 20 kilonewton. Per meter, right? So we can write down a moment equation for beam and for column. If we can say this is. Uh, X1 at any distance. Right from here. So it is throughout same. So the moment equation 17.2, right? So mx at mx1 at any distance. So we can write down equation 17.2. Uh, excuse me, sir. Yeah. But we can't see the one that you wrote um, on the lower side. Oh, it is not uh, visible. Uh, yes, uh, the one that okay, okay. Uh, that has an arrow. If I let me, it is now. Uh, I think maybe you should. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, Can I write down up? This up is visible. Uh, the upper part is not visible now. Not not now. And now. Uh. <laughs> We can see the lower part. <laughs> ah, so meaning to say the mm, 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 mm. maybe I change the position now. I just lower it. Uh, we still can't see the lower part. Okay. Now, okay, now it's good. Now okay. Okay, sir. Okay, okay. So maybe because I will. So this is 17.2, right? So if from here, so vertical reaction, so 17.2 X1, right? It is clockwise moment, right? At So 20 into X1 into X1 upon two. So X1 square upon two, right? So this is anti-clockwise moment. It is mx so this is is a negative sign it is positive sign so we can say this equation will become 
टेन एक्स वन स्क्वायर माइनस सेवेंटीन पॉइंट टू एक्स वन सो दिस इक्वेशन यूजिंग दिस इक्वेशन सो एट एनी वेन एक्स इज इक्वल टू जीरो मोमेंट इज इक्वल टू जीरो राइट वेन एक्स इज इक्वल टू फाइव सो यू विल गेट सम वैल्यू राइट ओवर हियर सो एट एनी वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स राइट वी कैन गेट द मोमेंट इक्वेशन राइट एंड सेम थिंग वी कैन राइट डाउन द मोमेंट इक्वेशन फॉर दैट राइट इफ आई विल गेट एट एनी पॉइंट दिस इज एक्स टू डिस्टेंस राइट बिकॉज नाउ इट इज सो एक्स टू इट इज एम एक्स टू इट इज वेरी सिंपल थ्री पॉइंट फोर सेवन टाइम्स एक्स टू सो एंड इट इज ऑबियस at the bottom when x2 is 0 so it is 0 and this moment will be triangular moment right so it is uh, uh, at the column so th only thing this and this moment should be the same right so for example the height of column is 4 when x2 is 4 so it is 3.47 into 4 right so it this moment and this moment should be the same right but opposite because beam and column to be same so just uh, anybody can uh, calculate or when three point four seven into Four, right? At over here, thirty. This moment will be thirteen point. So this is the column moment diagram, right? So which will be thirteen point eight eight. So at this point should also be thirteen point eight eight. So if I can put over here, so this length is five. so when x is equal to 0 so moment is equal to 0 because it is applicable all the way when x is equal to 5 so 25 times 10 250 minus 17.2 into 10 172 सेवेंटीन पॉइंट टू इंटू एक्स वन ओके करेक्ट एंड ओ ट्वेंटी इंटू एक्स 20x into x by 2, right? So x1 is square upon 2. So 10x1 is square. It is correct. Mm. Oh. Three point A Y B Y twenty two point eight. And seventeen point two. Yeah, that is correct. So uh, 
here something wrong here, right? Maybe I will check the moment here. 4 into 3.47, 12 point something, right? So uh, this is 17.2, right? Seventeen point two into Mm -hmm. oh. oh, sorry, sorry, it was eight kilo Newton per meter. That's why, right? In the it is eight kilo Newton per meter, right? That's why I was. Oh. Right. It was eight kilonewton per meter, right? So eight x square. So four x one square. Okay. So because seventeen point two was correct. So now uh, five. Uh, when, Can you yeah. lower the camera? Pardon? Uh, lower the camera. We cannot see the... Lower? The, uh, the camera. This one? No, no. Oh. We cannot see the bottom one. This one? Three. Okay. We cannot see. Oh. So we, ca we cannot see the lower part of the board. Ah, uh, yeah. No? A little bit higher. Uh, no. no. Um, go, go up. Now okay, or maybe I will take one or two more book. Is it better now? Wait. Yeah, it's okay. yeah, that's better. Okay, so now you can see, right? Yes. Okay. So as we say, we made a mistake. It was eight kilo newton per meter. So the equation will be 4x1 square minus 17.2x1, right? So if x at this point, because we supposed to be, it is like that. So uh, this is uh, uh, 5 times uh, 5, 2500, right? So this is 100 minus 72. 17.2 x1, right? So 17.2 into 5. So 86, right? So 14, almost because some decimal we missed. So almost this and this moment is the same, right? So because at the joint moment should be the same, right? So if we will, so so after uh, we have removed, so this is the uh, same procedure which we can apply. So now I can rub out over here. So if we can draw the moment diagram for that, So we will combine. So this is because uh, uh, a straight line 
and it was 13.47 something. So, so 3.4. So this was 13.88 equal approximately 14, right? And here is uh, zero and it was also 14, right? So this is the moment diagram and somewhere will be, right? So this is the moment diagram of the frame and this is, so which was not there. So after calculating, so we can uh, uh, calculate the moment force and shear force and moment diagram, we can calculate, right? So this is the, because it was UDL, so the moment diagram will be curve because equation was uh, four uh, X one square minus 17.2 X MX is equal to, right? So it is quadratic equation. So it is curve and it is MX2. The equation is 3.47 X2. So it is a straight line, right? Varying linearly. So this is the moment diagram for the uh, frame, what we have just solved. So meaning to say, uh, we can calculate first the uh, force reaction or redundant forces. And after that, uh, we can separate the frame is same thing like beam. And we can just separate, we can take the moment equation and we can combine. So only thing if we uh, consider that we have done correctly just now, as I said at the joint, the moment should be equal in magnitude, opposite in direction, right? So in that way, if we got uh, this thing, it means that our procedure is correct, right? Because if you will take very minor difference, doesn't make any difference because we are not taking all decimal places, right? So that is the, uh, uh, the uh, question that last week we have uh, discussed, right? Now, same, there is another frame, uh, another example before I will uh, go. So the frame shown in the uh, figure is used to support bridge deck, right? Uh, like this is a bridge, right? So this is uh, li like, for example, a steel bridge you can consider, right? This is the steel bridge. So uh, assuming EI, which is the cross section and material is say constant, a drawing of it uh, along with the dimension and loading is shown, which is this. So the uh, UDL is only on the middle part, right? Because total is 20 meter long span. So only in, on the middle half, right, 10 meter, there is 40 kilonewton per meter, right? The height of column is five meter, five meter. And the support, whatever it is given over here, so this type of support is pin support, right? This is not the roller. So the two reaction here, two reaction here. So the four reaction, one horizontal, one vertical, one horizontal and one vertical. Four reaction, three equation. So degree of external uh, indeterminacy is one. So one of the support, we can take the redundant so similar to that either here we can make it roller right or at this site we can make it roller it doesn't make any difference right so like uh, uh, we have taken this is the thing it is not coming so uh, Let me, yeah. Right. So let me 
uh, we can take, right? So this is our actual. So if we can uh, remove horizontal reaction, right, at this point. So same thing like a previous frame, but a previous frame, it, there were two member, one column and one beam. Here are three member, right? So as the deflected shape, because beam load is vertically downward, right? So the deflected shape will always be like that, right? So it will be curved like this. So if it will be curved, so this support, because we release the support, so it can move like that, right? And this column will buckle like this, right? And we can apply because uh, com for compatibility condition, this is this. So AX, this is redundant frame. So it will br bring this side, right? So this is a a AX. So that will be, so that is the redundant structure. So this will be FAA at point A, the flexibility coefficient, which we can get by applying the unit load and multiply, so that will be the total. So this plus this will be zero. So in actual structure, so there will be, because it is pin support, so there will be a zero uh, movement, right? So uh, thus in a same manner, so we have write down the actual primary structure and the redundant structure, right? So uh, then, uh, we will get same thing. We can calculate the bending moment, uh, sorry, reaction of the primary structure, right? So uh, I can rub. So uh, I can uh, draw like that. So it is 10 meter and 40 kilonewton on 10 meter. It is five, it is five, right? So uh, if height is also, height is five, right? So if we can say, uh, B Y A Y right? and because we release over here, so we can uh, get uh, this reaction, right? <clears throat> so as we can say, this is 40 times 10, 400 and it is at the middle in different color. Forty into ten. Four hundred, so five because it will be center right five meter, half of the ten. So distance from here is ten. So if we can take this is point A, summation of ma is equal to zero we can calculate by so by is into 20 by into 20 it is anti clockwise positive right and 400 into 10 so that is clockwise 400 into 10 is equal to zero so 4,000 by is equal to 4,000 upon 20. So it is 200, right? So 200 kilonewton, right? So so 20, yeah, 200 kilonewton. Am I right? So that we have calculated 200 kilonewton and 
two hundred kilo newton, right? Because then summation of f x, so four hundred minus two hundred minus two hundred. So then, in the same manner, we can write down the equation of mo uh, moment equation for each member, right? So we can write down the moment equation for this column. So this is x1. So because m1 is zero, because no horizontal member, right? You can take if uh, I can rub. So same thing in this primary structure, we are taking the free body diagram. So this is uh, beam. So 40 kilonewton per meter. And because this will be 200, this will be 200. So this is column. I can uh, draw with different color. So this is. 200. This is 200, but no other horizontal force, right? And this is this column again downward 200, upward 200. So no horizontal force, right? So if you are taking a moment equation at any distance x1, but it is zero because no, so m1 is zero right because from here right so but here only for beam you can write down the moment equation right so uh, m2 so from here uh, you can uh, write down the moment equation for the beam which is 200 right if you are taking uh, again we can because here uh, we will take because the in this case again you can recall theory of structure right so because the one equation cannot be valid throughout the length of the beam right so we have to go for two equations right because from here to here right if i will take so we can this region, right? Because in this region, condition is different, right? So X2 will be applicable. So M2 is for this region, right? And for this region, M3, right? Because so we can say X3, the, which is which will be from this point onward, right? If you can recall from there. So if for this region, so the it will be X2, right? So the moment equation will be 200 times X2, right? Because there is no uh, other force, only this 200 into X2, right? So this is for uh, from this point to this point. And for uh, this point, which will be if we are taking Right. Either you can take X3 from here or you can take X3 from there. Right. So uh, uh, because we will again consider this reaction. So this equation will be because at any point from here to here. So at any point X3. So the moment will be 200 into this distance 5 plus X3. Right. 200 into 5 plus X3 minus 40 into X3 will be the load into X3 by 2, right? So that is the moment equation for the beam. For again, for col this column, again, there will be zero, right? So we have a moment equation for the beam, which are two. So this equation is valid from here to here. Same thing the same equation will be valid from here to here. And for this middle half, right, where it is only this, so it is this equation, right? 
now uh, we can go uh, same thing for uh, applying a unit load one over here right so when you can apply unit load one so we can get same thing x1 right with that uh, uh say yes um i'm sorry but um when you're explaining and you use here and here um is there a cursor on the presentation because we uh i can't pinpoint what here you are referring to okay i can do this figure or previous slide this slide uh, this slide uh, is this slide is okay uh this in terms of the slide is okay but when you're explaining when you're saying here um i i can't exactly okay 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 okay, uh, okay. Uh, Right. As for example, this is the beam. This is applied load. Right. So uh, this is the reaction onto the column. This is 200. Am I right? So 200. So on column, this is axial force, right? Because it is actual comparison. Right, so this 200 that because at the joint shear, right? So this will be here. So this 200 and same thing, this 200 from this side, right? So this 200, right? So this is like the end reaction. So this is the shear in the beam. This is the shear force in the beam and in the column in primary beam because this vertical force, if there will be uh, this horizontal, right? So then this can be the shear in column but because there is no horizontal force in the column so this force into the column so that is that will be the axial compression right so this will be the shear because if you can draw it is so the shear force diagram it is something like this right so it is maximum then it is zero and this will be the shear force diagram of the beam right in this case so uh, whenever the beam or column there will be this uh, vertical or horizontal force like this which is perpendicular to the member so that is the shear force is that okay okay hello Oh, okay, okay, sir. Okay, okay. As uh, if you will apply, right? Unit force over here, right? Line, line diagram. Because this is redundant frame, right? So we are applying one over here in this direction. So there will be because summation of Fx is equal to zero. So there should be also one kilonewton, right? And uh, we can, right? So this will be the, uh, whenever we are taking, right? Uh, let's say moment Fy, this vertical force if we have to calculate because this is applied, right? So if you are up 
cal calculating summation of moment at a is equal to zero. So, so this is so this vertical reaction will remain zero. Am I right? Because only horizontal force which is applying over here as one, right? So this is as one. So now if you calculate uh, a y or b y, right? So if you try summation of m a is equal to zero, right? So b y times uh, this distance is twenty. So twenty b y, but this distance because this applied this is at the same location there is no force over here right so in this case so only the reaction will be this so if we can write down right or if i can draw only the in the redundant beam these are the only forces so if we can again uh, draw the free body diagram So this is one kilonewton. So this will be one, right? So this will be one. This will be one, right? Yeah, Dr. Mubarak. I'm having class. Okay. Right. So this is one and this will be one. So now you can write down the uh, moment equation for each member, right? So uh, So this is M1, so one into X1, right? And uh, wait. Okay, so uh, now, right? So this will be one into X1, right? So when X1 is zero, it is zero, right? So now uh, there is one thing, right? When X is equal to five, here will be positive five, right? So uh, then there will be uh, this, right? Because if you are again, Right, writing the moment, right? So when at this side, right? So this one, one into X one. So the moment one into five, this there will be this applied moment five. So there should be applied moment five, which will be negative of that, right? So this is positive. So this will be negative, right? Because at the column beam column joint right so there should be equilibrium of the moment so that is why in the beam there is a constant value of moment right because from this side is also five so five is positive in column and negative in the beam right you got the point right so because there is as you see up, there is no applied uh, shear. Shear is zero, but there will be applied moment which is coming from the column, right? Because over here, one into five. So five kilonewton, 
this column is uh, moment is coming. So this five kilo Newton meter. So this will also be so the beam will be ha having this moment, right? So here is zero. If you are looking moment diagram, right? So for this moment diagram will be how it look like. This will be like this. It is positive moment five and. This is the moment diagram. So this is minus five. This is plus five. This is plus five because of that throughout there. And why? Because for uh, equilibrium condition. So at the joint equilibrium, so column and B moment should be equilibrated, right? So that's why you got the point. Is that clear? Uh, so we cannot see the board. Oh. Now you see? Yes, sir, thank you. Yeah. So this is the because now in this case, because as I said, no vertical force over here, only at the support because of the column a moment from column, it is transferring to the beam, right? Because that's why beam and column is joining. So moment is transferring. So the moment diagram of this will be like that. So that's why the column moment is one X one right from this side or this side. But B moment will be constant, which is five, right? So now we got this. So same thing, uh, the same equation, right? We can apply, right? So on each member, right? So beam and column. So M into M upon EI zero to L. So the beam length is zero to five. Uh, sorry, uh, zero to five, the first part of the B. So the column is zero to five. So the column, if you will look this moment, so this column moment is zero, this column. So column moment, uh, the primary beam is zero. So that's why this is zero. Right, the beam uh, so zero to five because from here this portion, right? So the small m is minus five, and uh, from primary structure, so uh, the moment is uh, this is the moment you can uh, simplify, right? Uh, so two hundred x two, right? For this this part, two hundred x two, so. This is 200 x2 into 0.5 dx2 upon ei. And why 2? Because this side is also, right? It is symmetrical. So this side is also the same moment equation. So we can say this and this symmetrical, it is twice, right? So twice plus for the middle part, which is uh, we can apply this, right? And because again, half we have applying because uh, half is zero to five meters. Zero. So we can say two, right? Two times this because half we have taken here, half part we are taking. So this was the equation of this, right? And uh, the, that is minus five. So that's why we have either you can take zero to 10 or two into zero to five you will get the same answer, right? So uh, by simplifying, so delta uh, will be minus, which is which means vertically downward over here. So we have uh, uh, calculated the uh, delta as minus this, right? And uh, over here, so what we assume, so it is on the reverse side. And now we can do this again column FAA, right? So M into M for each. So two column, two beam in the same way. So the uh, that will be, so we can say the compatibility equation, we can put the primary structure and this, so AY is 157 kilonewton, right? So AY, 
So only thing uh, in this uh, uh, example, only tricky thing is that when you will apply unit load over here, so the moment diagram, so uh, because of the joint equilibrium, so here will be the constant moment, right? Which is minus five because it is plus five is here. So this is the only tricky part, right? And second tricky part is that we have to take this part, this part, right? So we one quarter, one quarter, right? So we have, so this equations is applied for this quarter and this quarter. This equation is applied from uh, uh, this five meter to 10 meter or from here, five meter to 10 meter, right? So with by doing so, we can uh, write down the equation and rest of the problem is same, right? Then there are uh, some other uh, <coughs> equations, uh, some other <coughs> examples are given. So today I can discuss uh, one more example. So, uh, or two more, I can complete this example or we can discuss uh, this example, right? So I think then uh, trust I can start tomorrow, right? Because uh, if I, and tomorrow we can wrap up the trust to our, so we can, uh, three is more or less similar, right? Uh, to example one. So mm, uh, if you can go through any problem will come, you can discuss with me or after I will discuss briefly, I can discuss this. So this is the book example. So example two, it is clear any confusion? It is okay? Uh, sir, can you please repeat the part um, on how to get um, M2 and M3 equals to negative 5? Okay. Just, uh, uh, you, can you see here? Right. So, we are applying uh, 1 over here. Right, you can take column force is one, right? One into x one, right? So this equation is x one. When x one is zero, so moment over here is zero. So height of column is five. So when x one is five, right? So x one is five. So one into five. So it is uh, this moment clockwise if I'm talking this moment, right? Which is, right? So moment over here is five. This, that's why this is five. So this is inward moment. It is plus, plus five, right? So this is in column. So there will be, there should be, right? This is anti-clockwise. So there should be clockwise moment or or vice versa so that will be negative moment right because this is 5 this is <coughs> negative 5 <coughs> so because whenever we are meeting at this column right so this joint so there should be joint equilibrium if this moment so there should be this equal in magnitude opposite in direction. So this is positive, so this is negative. That's why summation of M is equal to zero at the joint, right? So because at the, in column, it is positive, we assume the direction as positive. So in the beam, the moment will be negative. Is that okay? Okay, sir, thank you. Right, because uh, uh, we have to follow the equilibrium condition in member as well as in joint. 
So because at this joint, no other force. So that's why this moment is transferring, right? So now determine the moment at the fixed support, right? A, which is given in this frame for the frame shown in this figure, right? Uh, which is from the book 10th edition. The support at B is rocker, right? EI is constant. So this is the uh, load which is applying perpendicular to this. So it is uh, diagonal, not 45 degree, right? This is 2.5 meter length and this is 2 meter length. So only thing in this we have to just keep in our mind, right? Only in our mind we have to keep, right? So, so this is uh, 2.5 is this height. Uh, 4 meter, 2.5 meter, 2 meter, 1.5 meter. So 2.5 is diagonal height. Uh, let me check. Uh, it should be 2 square plus 1.5 square. Can somebody confirm? Because it is I have taken from the book. So 4 plus uh, 1.5 square under root is 2.5. Because I have only on my. Book. So whenever uh, this is actual frame, right? So uh, we can, right? Because rocker uh, we are taking, so we will take this as out, right? So this will be the primary structure and onto this primary structure, right? So this is the deflected shape. And because we have uh, here, we have removed the fixed, right? Support and we put it as the uh, pin support. So the redundant is moment, right? Not the reaction. When we remove the horizontal reaction, so the redundant force was horizontal, right? Here, the fixed support, right? So we have removed the uh, moment, right? So initially there was, uh, we made moment zero, right? So initially rotation was zero. So we release rotation, right? That's why we release rotation. Theta A is there, right? In actual structure, theta A is zero, right? So that's why the redundant force is the moment force, right? So theta A, that is the uh, uh, angle or rotation in the primary structure. And uh, let's say when we applying the flexibility, when unit moment with the application of unit moment, so this will be alpha AA and multiplied by MA. So the total angle will be MAA plus alpha AA. So this angle plus this angle should be equal to zero in actual condition, right? So MAA, MA is the unknown or redundant reaction which we can find out in this equation, right? So this is basically roller support. As you have seen, it can roll out, right? So this is now become the uh, determinate structure, right? So again, uh, as I said, uh, uh, the uh, reference to point A, so theta A, which is the primary plus MAA into alpha AA. Alpha AA, that will be due to unit applied moment, right? Which instead of load, we will apply unit so we can get the flexibility over here. So this angle plus this angle is zero. So that will resolve the compatibility, which is the 
a fixed support condition. Right. So again, uh, for the primary structure, so same thing, uh, we can just apply, right? So uh, the perpendicular, because this force, right? Only thing position of the force, it is, uh, you can look, right? It is perpendicular to this diagonal element, right? So this is, uh, it is given eight and length of this diagonal element is 2.5, right? Length, so eight into 2.5, 16 uh, and 4, 20, right? So it is 20, right? So if it is 20, it is uh, because 1.25 from here, 1.25 from here, right? So uh, that is the uh, gradient, right? The, uh, so that is the, the uh, gradient or the angle, right? Uh, you can, why it is three and four and five? Because uh, you can double up this, right? So if it is, uh, two, it is 1.5, this triangle, right? Because for the simplifying of the equation, they have written, right? So because we need, we are concerned for uh, angle. So if this is 1.5, this is two, this is 2.5, right? So uh, this angle is theta, right? So it will remain the same if you can say it is uh, three, four, five. So ratio will remain same, right? So for example, cos theta, which is 1.5 upon 2.5, right? Or three upon five, same, right? So just uh, because uh, rather than write down, so, so sometimes people just use for the simplicity of calculation, right? So that's why. So if it is this, so perpendicular to this, right? So it is five, right? So same thing, right? It is right. So this is perpendicular five. So it is three. It is four, right? So same thing. What it is being? So either. So this is same thing which I did, right? So this is three, this is three, this is four, right? Because it will be perpendicular to that. So that is a five, right? So the angle of this, right? So this is, right? This is basically a hypotenuse. Uh, this is diagonal, right? So perpendicular is also hypotenuse, right? So that uh, that was uh, two was this so perpendicular to that right so that will be so this is the angle of the force right so this is the applied force so either you can say two one point five two point five or four five three right it is the same thing right so uh, then uh, whenever uh, we are applying, right? Because the statics, some steps uh, are uh, just uh, in the background, right? So in this free body diagram, right? You can uh, first, uh, uh, you can calculate this uh, uh, reaction in the primary structure, right? So this reaction, so you can take horizontal and vertical component of that, right? So uh, 
uh, with that, you will calculate the vertical reaction as 12 kilonewton and uh, 1.167 kilonewton will be the horizontal reaction, right? So again, over here, right? So uh, the main uh, trick is that just trigonometrically, you can locate the uh, position, right? As I say, put here, so that is at the mid point. At the midpoint is here, right? So this is so you can take summation, right? For this primary structure, right? So you want to calculate, for example, uh, horizontal uh, bec because there will be only horizontal reaction, no vertical reaction because it is roller support. So you can uh, calculate H B, right? So taking moment at A is equal to zero. So taking moment at A is equal to zero, right? So the H B into this distance, right? Whatever uh, is this distance, right? So uh, four meter plus two meter, six meter. So H B into six, right? So H B you are assuming this direction. So uh, you can. And then uh, perpendicular to this, so horizontal and vertical, and this is the position at, which is at the midpoint, right? So at this midpoint, you can get uh, eight into two point five forty. So forty cos theta horizontal component, forty sin theta vertical component, and you can get position from here, right? So you can take the moment over here, right? If uh, I can elaborate over there. Just I can say. This is 40, right? And this this is at mid, right? 1.25 from here, 1.25 from here, right? So if you are taking over there, right? So this is the distance, right? So this is if. Uh, this is five, we are considering, let's say angle, right? So if this is theta, right? So this is 40 uh, cos theta, and this is 40 sine theta, right? Right, so this distance, so again with this angle, you. so this, this is 1.25, so you can get this distance, right? This is 1.25, this angle, this angle, this angle is the same. So you can get uh, this height, right? So because this is already four meter and this delta you can calculate, right? This is just the trigonometry. This is alpha distance, right? So uh, this angle, which is given or you can take here, right? So this, this is uh, cos theta is four upon five here, right? Cos theta, if we are considering here theta, right? So cos theta is four upon five, sin theta is 3 upon 5, right? Considering this, right? For this angle. So uh, this component, right? So 40 cos theta will be 4 upon 5.
So 32, 40 sine theta, three upon five, not four. So 24, right? So we are taking moment, let's say at point A for calculating this, right? Horizontal component for calculating this, right? So which you can say H, uh, H into this distance. So just getting, so uh, over here, so you can say uh, sine theta, so 24 into this distance moment at this point A, right? So this is 24 because vertical component is 24. 40 sine theta is 24. So 24 into alpha, right? And 40 cos theta, 32, 32 into four plus delta. So this will be the moment. Is that clear, right? This is just the trigonometry. Is that okay, right? And then uh, based on that, right, uh, we have, uh, uh, because this equation, equilibrium equation, you have uh, written, so you can get uh, this component is 14.83. Again, uh, you can, because we need, right? Because for writing the equation, so we need perpendicular. Shear force will be perpendicular to this diagonal beam, right? And this, so the again, 11.87, will cost the moment, right? So the moment equation, because 14.83, so we will get the per perpendicular component of two onto that, right? So uh, this 14.87 into X2, right? So minus, uh, because this is 8X. So if you are taking from here, right? So 8 into X2, into x2 by 2, so 4x square. So for this x2, we are taking from here. So the m2 equation is 11.87 x2 minus 4x2 square, right? And for that is 1.167 x1, right? Only this diagonal member is little tricky, right? It is nothing engineering, it is only the trigonometry because it is diagonal member. Is that clear? Right? Is that clear? Okay? Or it is confusing? I can uh, just repeat one more time. Just this is our diagonal member, right? This is our, if I'm taking, this is theta, right? Just uh, uh, forget about this, just considering this, right? just considering this. This is 2.5, this is 1.5, right? And this is two, right? If you are taking this theta, right? So uh, same thing. So at this point, we have calculated, right? Fourteen point eight three, which is at this point. But our beam is this direction, so we have to have perpendicular to this, right? Because this for this is diagonal, right? And this portion, this will be over uh, 
the axial part, right? So we are considering only this. If you consider this will be the beam, right? So uh, if uh, this angle, you can uh, calculate this angle. So from there, right? So again, this horizontal part, right? So you can, uh, this, because from this trigonometry, right? So this, and it is perpendicular. This is theta. So this is 90 minus theta, right? This is perpendicular, right? So again, uh, this is to overall 90 degree, right? So if we, we can uh, just simulate over here, right? So uh, this, this. So that will be theta, that will be 90 minus theta. Am I right? So, so this is 90, right? So uh, this is horizontal, this is parallel. Right. So with that, so if so, you are getting uh, this right. So which is uh, if you are taking this, so that the, so the vertical component. So with this dimension direction, right. So which is uh, three, this is four, right, or two or one point five, right. So that will be uh, the this component will be this upon this is cos theta. Right from here, right? So this is theta, this is 90 minus theta. So, right? Because if it is theta, so this is also theta, right? Because with this, am I right? So this is 90 minus theta. Is it clear? Right? So if theta, right? So that is, if you are taking from there, If you are taking from there, so it is given 1.5. This is. OK, so now you can see. And this is 2.5, right? So you, you can uh, get this is theta. This is 90 minus theta, right? So if you are taking this is cos theta, so that will become sine theta or vice versa. So with that, if uh, this will be because 90 minus theta, so uh, so cos 90 minus theta will be sine theta, right? So sine theta is 2 upon 2.5. So this will be this value of this, right? Will be 2 upon 2.5 times 14.5. A three, and now you are writing equation for here x two. So this, uh, which which value is coming as eleven point eight seven. So eleven point eight seven into x two minus two point. Uh, this is x two and this is eight. Eight into x two into x two square uh, uh, into x two upon two. So then we will get the moment equation, right? Which is 11.87 x2 minus 4 x2 square, right? So is that clear? So it is the matter of only the trigonometry. Is that okay? Okay. Sir. Right? So just uh, you can even uh, plot, uh, draw, and uh, you can understand and rest of the procedure is the same, right? So then we can apply one and we can get, right? So so we can here, we will apply moment as one, right? When we will apply one kilonewton, again, we can get the reaction and this a small moment equation and then 
uh, same thing alpha. Uh, so we can get because in the, using this equations. So here uh, we have applied this equation one point. So this column 1.16, right? And uh, this is from the uh, previous, right? Uh, it is from here. One minus, right? For column, this is M1, this equation, right? If you will do, so Y1, because applied mo moment is one, right? Applied moment is one. So at any point distance x1, so this will be one, right? So one, it is uh, clockwise, so it is anti-clockwise. So one minus 0 0.1667, right? So that at any distance, so that is the moment equation for this column, m1. So when you will go here, so this is, the column equation, right, which is 1.167 x2, which is this capital. This is from the previous slide, right? Plus this diagonal, which is 11.87 x2 minus 4 x2 square. And again, from this trigonometry, when you will get this value, because when you will do horizontal horizontal because if it is 0.1667 so it will be opposite direction and in the same way you will get so it is 0.113 right so uh, you will get uh, this for diagonal member and uh, rest is the same 0 to 4 for the vertical and 0 to 2.5 for the diagonal right and uh, for upon integration, so it is 8.2178, right? And so now in this both, uh, so both same thing, square of this, square of this, so that is alpha AA. So then compatibility condition zero is equal to uh, uh, this theta A plus MA alpha AA, so MA will be 4.07 kilonewton meter. So which means the direction of M, which we assume, right? So direction of M, we assume it is of the reverse direction, right? So if we assume uh, clockwise, so the uh, reaction is anti-clockwise. So is that clear? Because in the frame, uh, this vertical are straightforward. Only uh, this we have to make understand the position, right? So uh, because the force is vertical, only we have to apply trigonometry, right? So so with that. Uh, I think uh, it is uh, 5.30. I uh, don't want to make you more complicated. So again, uh, this uh, example, you people try to uh, even elaborate, right? Uh, and open, just try to make sense, right? With this, it is trigonometry. Anything you can, uh, discuss with me. Is that okay? Okay, okay sir. Right. So, if any issue, any problem, just let me know. Right. Because so, in general, from here, as we see, now we are in structural analysis. Right. So, we are going more and more compared to theory of structure. Right. But it is only the imagination, right? So uh, uh, just now we have to in frame, we have to be little tricky in the frame analysis, right? Otherwise, uh, things are straightforward, right? Uh, so uh, I think uh, the beam and frame uh, 
uh, we should stop and uh, many example I have given right and discuss. So we can discuss tomorrow the uh, trust, right? And then we have a coming very big chapter on the displacement method, which may be next three week we will run. And with that chapter, our course will be more than 50%, right? After that, two, two or three chapters are uh, uh, very small. So three to four weeks, we will be running the next chapter, which uh, I have almost completed only frame part I haven't done yet. But you will find the next chapter is uh, lengthy, but the next chapter is more straightforward. But again, because for the next chapter, uh, our course, uh, I have added the uh, the basic things which were not in our theory, theory of structure course, right? And even in structural analysis, because somehow or other uh, many topics which must be there, which are not there, right? So, but uh, for making concept, I, I, I have done uh, this thing, right? So I am not, I will not directly start moment distribution. Right. If I will start, so again the concept uh, will not be made. So what is the uh, application of the thing? Because if you read the book, so things will not be conjugate beam and slope deflection relationship. So that we will discuss first in the next chapter. But tomorrow we will uh, uh, discuss the trust, which is indeterminate trust. But you will find trust is more easier than the uh, this frame right but it is also not difficult right only uh, as i said only understanding or visualizing the geometry of that so with that uh, thank you very much i think i better stop over here right is it okay any issue any problem So our quiz is on Saturday. Okay. So if all, all good. So thank you. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.